OK, so we're going to show you the basics of Reflector VS Pro. And to do that, we've got a fairly simple application here, which I'm going to open with debug mode in Visual Studio. It's a simple Fibonacci calculator. So if I type in 6, it'll give us the 6 Fibonacci number. If I type in 7, we'll get the 7th, and so on. If I type in too many numbers, it hangs. And you can see the mouse hovering over the top is having some problems as well. So I'm going to pause the debugger and have a look down here in the stack frame. And we can see that we're actually referencing a third-party DLL called a buggy library. Now, this is normally where we could go and open up Reflector, check out that assembly and try to find out what was going on. But because we have Reflector VS Pro installed, we've got the add-in in Visual Studio. So we have a menu up here, and it gives us the option to choose some assemblies to debug. I'll go ahead and do that, and right at the top, conveniently, we have a buggy library. I'm just going to choose that assembly to debug and hit OK. Now, as you know, Reflector can decompile any assembly, and what Reflector VS Pro does is to save the PDB for those decompilation results. So that's kind of finished, and if we move this window up out of the way, you'll notice that the stack frames that were previously greyed out because we didn't have access to the source code are now available to us. What this means is that we can now step into them. So up here, we now have source code generated by Reflector, and it's sitting right here in Visual Studio for us. Now the beauty of this is that we can use the Visual Studio debugger, so of course we can step into this. We can see the variables and edit them as well. And you can see that this one's now changed. We can set the breakpoints. We can treat it pretty much as if it were our own code, and that's going to make it a lot easier to track down this bug. So we've got right to the heart of the code that we're trying to investigate with Reflector, much faster and much more simply.